Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Unholy Vision. You're watching OS vs. GPU, a series where I go to an OS and I relay my experience with NVIDIA and AMD graphics. When you first start up NVIDIA, it does have a nice little video right here where it shows exactly how to use the operating system. Many of these distributions out there, they lack something like this. So Deepin has just made a new user a much easier time just by watching this little video. The next step in all this, you get to decide how you want your desktop menu. So if you did the standard little window style, if you wanted it this way, just like Windows did, or if you wanted it sort of a GNOME style look, you can have it either way. I wish there was a in-between mode where you could have the smaller little task bar like deal and then have the menu old school menu like that all in one but you just have to decide on either or you get to decide if you want all the glamour or not with the window effects and transparency and everything right out of the gate which is very nice you choose your icons however you want them right out of the gate. One of the bad things about Deepin OS out of the box is it uses an older kernel, 4.15. So you won't take advantage of any MESA updates for AMD or anything like that. The Deepin store does have a lot of your gamer needs. So if you need Steam, it's in here. If you need Discord, it's in here. OBS is even in here, but you can't type OBS like that and find it, unfortunately. You do have to actually type out open broadcast. And then it'll find it like that. So that's a little hiccup, but other than that, it finds all your gamer needs, even Lutris, for example, right there. Unfortunately, it doesn't recommend anything similar like say pop os did but at least everything is in your actual app center deep in store what you know software center whichever one you want to call it they call it the deep in store if you actually look at the about section right here the deep in store does recommend things with a ranking right on the front page though be careful with some of them because like this Firefox right here, it says ZH, that's the Chinese version. The English speaking version is ESR. So there will be some Chinese applications thrown throughout the store and you'll have to look through them to see which is what and make sure you're getting the right thing. It's not that it's not usable, it's just some things might show up in Chinese. The Deepin store does have some essential apps down at the bottom here as well. But one of the weird little quirks about this right here is if you go into the, any of the Chinese related stuff and then go back, all of this will be in Chinese in descriptions for the most part, except for that, obviously. But there's always exceptions to the rule. But of course, it goes into Chinese. And if you go into something and then go back, it changes it again. The Deepin store doesn't give you too much control over how it functions. You can make it a dark theme out of it, clear the cache for any old packages, and of course, recommend apps to them. If it's not in there, something you want, you can submit it, and maybe it'll get added into the actual store here, which is a pretty good feature. Um, one of the biggest concerns here is the privacy policy is not in English. They really need to fix that. I know people don't read these things anymore half the time, but it does make it feel like, what am I agreeing to when I can't read it? You can sync your store into the cloud for all your apps, but that's about all you can do with the Deepin store. Out of the box, the system manager does look very much like a Windows task manager. You can change the details over here so you can see a more what they call compact mode, but a very more detailed mode in my opinion because the CPU cores, you can see individual ones instead of just a single one at a time flipping around. 
it has three different views for how you view your tasks in the task manager here or system monitor as they call it you can set this to dark mode as well as the actual deep and store did and you can force close applications at a breeze Deepin has this nice little graphics driver manager right here where you can change your drivers at a whim. Obviously on this one I have AMD at the moment, but let's switch right over to NVIDIA. After switching from AMD to NVIDIA, you will find that it's just perfectly fine logging in and doing all the stuff. It automatically goes right to the Nova open source NVIDIA driver. In my case, if I use this GPU tool to update to the closed, uh, closed source proprietary driver, I will have some problems because this is a very old version. It's 390. We're looking at the 430 range as a stable standard driver and 440 now as of making this video, the beta drivers. So, this will not end well if I install this. However, I'm just gonna show this off and go through the install process even if it borks my system. Pop OS does have an advantage over this Deepin OS in the terms of it has the latest drivers for NVIDIA. You do have to manually install them and that's pretty much the Debian way in most cases for distributions. But I did it manually install them, no problems. But that is kind of a headache with having to do that manually, for especially for a new user. In Deepin OS, the control center is basically your settings all in one big place. You can create new accounts sync to cloud sync in here do extend and copy and all that to your monitors which i don't really recommend if you're using the nvidia drivers you might as well just control it with the uh well at least the latest ones you might as well control it with this right here your nvidia x server nvidia settings stuff and if you're on the AMD drivers, then yes, uh, AMD GPU, then obviously use these here. As for everything else, we have the ability to customize the fonts, scale them. If you are using high DPI, change the themes and the cursor and all go all dark or whatever we want to do there. Networking, Bluetooth, sounds, you name it. All convenient in one little place. Even your updates and update settings.